Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the Collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. Overcoming disease. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. <laughs> Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. 
I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. Well, he's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. 
That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. 
the immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. 
Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like c -Sec, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and I... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits! Shepard, in my store! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, I remember them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. 
We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with Quarian, who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. 